Hello. Today I wish to show you how to install T-SQL T, which is a library supporting test-driven development in the context, context of SQL Server. So we have to open a browser, search for its name, T-SQL T. The first link return is indeed the home page of the project. In the lower right corner of the page, I have a link to download the library as a zip file. Save link as. I already prepared a directory, a folder for this library. I will save it. Then I will go to that library itself. Archive SQL Server T SQL T. Let's go to properties and unblock this zip file. Not absolutely necessary, but this is a habit that I have. And extract everything in the same directory. In here I have three SQL files. One is example, which creates an example database with T-SQL T pre-installed and some unit tests that just to see and to, to have an idea of how T-SQL T behaves. T-SQL T dot class, it's a script that has to be run in the context of our development database. And set CLR enabled, enables CLR on uh, the server because T-SQL T need CLR to function. I will go now to open uh, SSMS and uh, execute set CLR enabled. This is the first step. The development server, it's a database uh, SQL Server instance installed on this virtual machine that I'm using for demonstration. Connect. Database. Now, uh, let's open a file. And this file will be exactly the first file that I've told you about. The one that sets the CLR, enable CLR on the server. But before we run SP configure CLR enabled, let's run SP configure to see what we have. This is the first step. And if I go in here, I see that the maximum is one, but the config value and run value are zero. So, so on this development server, CLR is not enabled. I have to enable it in order to be able to use T SQL T. I will run this, execute, and uh, reconfigure has been used. Let's run again SP configure. And now for line number five, CLR enabled is one, config value one, run value one. So everything is okay. That's it. The server is prepared to run T SQL T. Next step, which normally, if you are uh, experienced in T SQL T, doesn't make sense, but for us, it's very important to create the example database. Why this? By creating the example database, which comes with T SQL T, we will be able to run some unit tests and as such have um, proof and a confirmation that uh, the setup is correct and we can start using T SQL T in the context of other client, other development databases. Let's create the example database. I will open the file again. Open the example file which comes in which comes with T SQL T. And as you can see here, 
when we run it, it will check if t is equal to x underscore underline example exists. If it exists, it will be dropped and it will create it, be created again. And then some objects, programming objects are creating, created and many other database objects which are part of t is equal to. Let's run this script. So as you can see, it has been installed and it looks fine to say so. If I go to database, databases and I click refresh, I see that uh, a new database has been created. But what kind of objects I have in there? If I go to tables, I have t equal t many uh, tables, many. I have some tables which are part of the t equal t schema. These tables come from the, from the library. These two tables in here, accelerator color and accelerator particle, are um, uh, test tables which uh, and have and have um, database objects which uh, act on them and some unit tests which test those database objects as such uh, it is a kind of a simulation environment to to run uh, some tests and see the results of the test and so on in the security if i go to security and if i go to schemas you will see that in here I have all the regular schemas except accelerator, accelerator tests, and this equal t. t equal t is the schema used for all t equal t objects, tables, views, functions, procedures. Accelerator is our, uh, let's say, the programming objects um, on which on which. Uh, um, the tests are uh, run and uh, accelerated tests it's a container for unit tests if I open right now a new query and I execute the following command execute t sql t dot run all as you can see it helps me uh, to, to find uh, the store procedure from this schema. Uh, let's execute this store procedure. If I execute it, you will see that I have in here uh, a few tests. And uh, one of the tests is failing. And I have failure in here. In here with red, I have uh, a kind of a summary. How many succeeded, how many failed, how many had errors, and so on. And in here, I have the message from the test that failed. How a unit test with sticks equal t looks like. So first, any t equal t unit test has to be inside a certain schema and this schema is created with a, with a special uh, t equal t stored procedure. Once I have a test class, I can create stored procedure in some stored procedures inside that class and a stored procedure to be a unit test, it has to start with test. Let's have a look at a store procedure, which is a unit test. If I go to uh, programmability, store procedures, and here are my unit tests. If I go, let's say, to test ready for experimentation. If two particles, if I uh, right click on it and script store procedure, create create a new query window. So in here, create procedure, accelerated test, 
that tests ready for experimentation if two particles this we in here we have a unit test and as regular as it is usual in uh, in test driven development first we have three phases first we have to arrange in this equal to they call it assemble then we have to act to call the uh, the unit under test and then to check to assert uh, if the results are what we expect so this is these are the first steps to install this equal t after that in the next video i will show you how to install this equal t in a development database my intention is, is to use the pubs database which is uh, classical and very old from 18 maybe 20 years ago thank you very much for listening